On June 8, 2011, Alabama signed into law House Bill 56, which many consider to be the toughest immigration law in the country. It would not have been necessary to address this problem if the federal government would have done its job and enforced the laws dealing with this problem. House Bill 56 has been hotly debated with many Alabamians split on the issue. While the state attorney general has told schools not to release any dropout information, the Woodlawn Reporting Lab interviewed staff and students at their school to find out how the law is already affecting them. Woodlawn High is a Title I school in Birmingham, Alabama, serving over a thousand students in the city. Like students all around the country, most are busy preparing for their semester exams. For some students, however, the passage of HB 56 has overshadowed everything else, making school even more difficult. Ms. Balon says a number of students have left their schools due to this new law. There are some schools where, in case, some cases, half or more of the ESL or the Latino population dropped out within the first week. Lawmakers say, well, the students are going to be okay if they were born here, but who's going to rent an apartment to a 13-year-old? Laura Barajas is a junior at Woodlawn High School. She talked openly about her feelings on the passage of the law. After all, I feel a lot of sadness to see how much hate some people held against individuals with different skin colors, to see how they see illegals as aliens, when all they are is hardworking individuals in search of a better future. Laura says she's also seen the impact of the law firsthand. I've seen it already. Students are dropping out because either they are illegal or their parents are. Alexander and his cousin Jessica, whose names have been changed, both spoke about how the law has affected their family and friends. Many of my family are already left or are planning to go back to some to their own home countries or either going to another state. And my friends, my friends are already left and just I just have a few that stay here because they're illegal. My family and I are scared well and, and some of them are already left. Many people and families are leaving. And the ones who stay are really scared to be in the streets. This hasn't just affected students within the Hispanic community, like Alexander and Jessica. Lamitris Waller, a member of the Woodlawn Choir, spoke about her feelings and experience with the law. A lot of kids don't have to drop out um, because even though they may be legal, some of their family members may not be, and they will have to leave or they will have to drop out completely to take care of their siblings. And it's not just Alabama residents who have concerns. Backlash is spread all the way to Washington, D.C. The White House is going on record opposing the law. The 11th Circuit temporarily blocked two provisions of the new law. One provision required public schools to track the immigration status of students. While the fate of HB 56 will most likely not be resolved until the Supreme Court makes a ruling, students like Alexander are left wondering, what will happen to them and if they will be able to stay in school? Education is important and Education is for everybody, not just for the ones that are illegal. And education is is priority for for life. I'm Adriana Richardson with Woodline Reporting Labs.